Welcome to your introduction to the Dropbox Sign API. In this video, we'll help you send your very first Dropbox Sign API request. As we move forward, we'll also demonstrate how to send your first e-signature request using your API. In addition to following along with this video, be sure to check out our interactive quick start guide at the URL shown on screen. The interactive consoles in the quick start will allow you to make API requests without the need to navigate away from the guide. This quick start also includes ready to use code samples, which can be directly copied to your own project, making integration with Dropbox Sign a breeze. Before we start, let's take a moment to review the Dropbox Sign API. This API gives you access to e-signature functionality that you can seamlessly integrate into your web or mobile applications. It enables you to collect electronic signatures from users through embedded or standalone signature flows. The API's endpoints are neatly structured around distinct classes offering a wide array of functions and capabilities. For a comprehensive view of all the classes and their functionalities, we encourage you to explore our detailed documentation. As a user of the Dropbox Sign API, you should also understand the difference between embedded and non-embedded signature flows, how our usage-based pricing model works, how to effectively test the Dropbox Sign API before deploying it, how rate limits for API requests work, and how our embedded testing tool can help you optimize your app's user experience. For a more comprehensive understanding of these topics, please refer to our documentation available on the website. Now, let's get hands-on and send your first API request. First, you'll need an API account for Dropbox Sign. If you don't have one, no worries. You can sign up for a free account on the API pricing page. Next, Make sure you have an API key for your account. This can be generated or found on the API settings page. You'll also need an email address and client ID to complete signature requests. Create a client ID by creating an API app on the API settings page or by calling the create API app endpoint in the API. Now you're ready to call the API. There are two ways you can do this. The easiest way is to use the Try console to send API requests directly from the documentation. You can also resend requests using the same instance, so there's no need to refresh or navigate away from the documentation to send it again. The Try console works for most endpoints, but not all, so it's only recommended for demonstrating the API's functionality. The other method you can use to send API requests is by copying the code examples into your development environment or application. This method is right for building real applications or demos. Let's look at the Try It console first. This approach is great for exploration and discovery, allowing you to test different combinations of parameters without the need to set up your own environment. Your first step is to copy your API key from the API settings page. Then paste it into the Try It console shown here and click Send. It's just that easy. The second way to use the API is by integrating the code samples directly into your application or terminal. This approach is great for building out integration, especially for using the official SDKs. These helper libraries facilitate better interaction with the Dropbox Sign API from your coding environment of choice. First, grab your API key from the API settings page like before. Then, copy the curl command for the get account endpoint shown on screen. Add your API key and email and send the command from your terminal. Every endpoint in our API reference documentation contains a code sample for curl and all six officially supported SDKs, so it makes getting started in your language of choice much easier. Once you have your API set up, it's time to generate a signature. The Dropbox Sign API makes sending signature requests to document signers very easy. You'll just need to make sure you have a few things in place before you send off for a signature. First, follow the steps earlier in the video to set up your API account for Dropbox Sign and get your API key. Follow the link below to see our documentation for API key management. You'll also need an email address and your client ID, which you set up earlier in the video. With all this in place, there are two different methods you can use to send a signature request non-embedded signing flows, and embedded signing flows. So let's first look at non-embedded signing flows. With this method, you can send the signature request via API, 
and Dropbox Sign handles the rest. Dropbox notifies the signers via email, the signers follow a hyperlink, and Dropbox will collect their e-signatures on a Dropbox Sign owned web page. It is a quick and easy process for everyone, but let's go through the steps just to make sure that you don't miss out on any of the features. We will go through the whole process of sending requests to make sure that everything is functioning properly. First, go to the Try It console to send a signature request. Paste your API key into the Security tab, then open the Body tab and inspect the request payload. Replace the first signer's email address and name values with your own test data. Just make sure you have access to the email address entered. Then add a metadata property to the payload with a custom key value pair, something like this. Next, add, edit, or remove parameters to the payload as needed. And finally, Press send to send your signature request. Now, go check the email that you sent the request to and open it up. Inside, you should find a message with a large review and sign button. Clicking the button will send you to the web page where you can sign and complete the signature request. If you followed all the steps, you should be ready to send your first document for signature to users. You can also check the status of your signature requests by sending an API request to the Get Signature Request endpoint shown here. To do this, paste your API key into the security tab once again. Then open the Parameters tab and paste the signature request ID obtained in the previous step. and press send to send your request. Now that we've looked at the non-embedded signing process, let's take a look at how to use embedded signing. In embedded signing flows, Dropbox Sign provides the e-sign technology via API, but you are responsible for creating the signings experience in your app or website. Your users can sign and complete documents without ever leaving your site. This creates a path of least resistance for your users to be able to sign documents quickly but it takes a little more work on your side to set up. So let's take a look at how you can set up embedded signing on your website with Dropbox Sign API. If you use embedded signing, Dropbox does not send notifications to your users via email. You'll have to write custom code to send email notifications. There are four steps you'll need to follow. Create an embedded signature request, generate an embedded sign URL using a signer's unique signature ID, Load the document in our embedded testing tool or your own app using a signed URL. Sign the document to complete the embedded signature request. We will go through each of these steps to ensure you can set this up on your own next time. First, create an embedded signature request using the Try It console. Paste your API key into the security tab. Open the body tab and inspect the request payload. Replace the client ID with your own app's client ID. Replace the first signer's email address and name values with your own, just like you did before. Add a metadata property to the payload with a custom key value pair, like this. Add, edit, or remove parameters in the payload as you wish, making sure the required parameters are included. And press send to send your signature request. Now that you have the signature ID, generate a signed URL by sending an API request to the Get Embedded Sign URL endpoint. Paste your API key into the security tab once again. 
Open the Parameters tab and paste the signature ID obtained in the previous step. Press Send to send your request. With your embedded signature ready, load your document into our embedded testing tool using the signed URL that you received in the previous step. First, navigate to the embedded testing tool using the link here. Next, paste your API app's client ID into the client ID field. Then, paste the signed URL into the embedded URL field. And finally, click the Launch Embedded button. If you are embedding the signed URL into your own platform, just use the signed URL to load the document. Now, you can complete the signature request. With the document loaded into our embedded testing tool or your web app, go ahead and complete the signature request to test it out. And you've done it. You now know how to use non-embedded or embedded signing with Dropbox Sign API to add signature requests to your web applications or automated workflows. If you're building out a front-end experience as well, we also provide a client-side library that handles the authorization and displays the embedded request using an iframe. Follow the link shown to learn more about this process. By now, you should have a pretty good idea of basic ways to interact with the Dropbox Sign API. But if you need more details for any of these steps, be sure to check out our interactive quick start guide here. Happy coding.